I have to admit that after a sea of Japanese-only games, it's always refreshing to come across a title that actually came out in the US in English. What's more, JB Herald Murder Club is an early attempt at what would later become a template for full motion video or FMV titles. The idea is to interact with a movie, and while Cron CD will in the future show that and that's varying results, this early hybrid is a decent attempt. It starts off with this weird sense of a James Bond intro and a 30 noir piece, but oddly enough the true game and themes aren't really either of those. In fact, you can tell that far more effort was put into designing the murder mystery that makes up this game rather than the character development of everyone in it. While there will be meticulous details that you need to pay attention to and scribble down, and yes, I do mean that on an actual notepad, the background of the characters are throwaway at best. A good example is the lead, J.B. Harold himself, who is presented as this crack shot gumshoe out to solve a brutal murder that has happened to one of the city's elite. But then, the moment you start up the game, it is revealed that this is JB's first assignment, and there are hints that you may still be wet behind the ears. So while your ego is perked by this machismo set by the game's opening sequence and brief introduction, the truth is that you are a rookie and got a first big case that you're hoping to not screw up. Or maybe that's not it. I don't know, it's hard to keep it straight. I'll admit though, the characters may need work, but the concept and overall mystery is well thought out. Much like a visual novel, the interface is a series of menus that you can use to navigate to any specific area. Despite the fact that you are capable of many functions like searching evidence, looking up people, and even issuing warrants, it's all just options in the menus. You won't need to do any true sleuthing and don't expect anything close to a point-and-click adventure, but you'll also quickly get stuck without proper deduction skills. You have open access to the entire city at the onset, and it can be quite intimidating to see how many choices there are at each location and person to talk to. Since as far as I can tell, the entire game is around solving the murder of Bill Robbins, it makes sense that there would be a lot of ground to cover, but your progress is pretty much tracked by your own reasoning. As previously stated, I highly recommend a notepad, as it's going to be up to you to figure out who's relevant, obtaining a large workup on each person question, and knowing when and how to return for follow-up questioning. I'm sure games not long after JB Herald Murder Club kept track of a lot of this data for you, but I have to admit it was fun using an actual notepad as my guide. This prevented the game from telling me what was relevant and what was important, and that was all my responsibility to figure out. It felt, well, like solving an actual murder mystery. When I said that this was the beginning template for FMV titles, it's because of how the whole game is presented. Everyone you interact with will have a profile picture, although there is some mixing of photographs and hand-drawn images. The same is true of the responses you get, which are very much like actual dialogue. Some of the settings in the game are also accompanied by photos, so every step of the way you're being reminded that this story could actually be true. Even the content, with descriptions of a pretty violent murder and other plot points such as a rape victim and romantic involvements, all hint at a more mature adult audience. It starts to blur the lines of entertainment and bring in a wider fan base, especially in America where it was basically NES families and those early Genesis adopters. Since I'm only learning about the PC Engine CD and TurboGrafx CD games by doing this series, I can't speak to many of the games to come, but this is a unique title in the console's library. If you want a change of pace and a good head scratcher for a long night of discovery, you really can't go wrong here. In Japan, this may have been a bit more common, although on this platform it's just as genuine regardless of the region. This is also rectified in the price, where it's quite common and inexpensive in the Japanese PC Engine CD version, but rare and expensive over here in the US where it's in English. Needless to say, those that want distinguishing titles in their collections will surely need to check this out, but all gamers who are fans of the likes of Encyclopedia Brown in their youth and Sherlock Holmes as teens should find plenty of enjoyment with J.B. Harold Murder Club.